upon my study in cognitive brain therapy and nuthetic brain therapy, um, doing my research, this is what I have concluded. Nuthetic has its strength in biblical counseling as it uses confrontation, but it's approached lovingly and balanced with using scripture as its foundation. It also is uses concern in a view of the welfare of the client. What does the client say when it comes to their concern? What is their biblical approach? Change is also used in this method as, as it challenges the client to ask what is in their life that's causing them to fail to meet the biblical standard requirement that keeps them from honoring God as there must be a change of heart to bring about true change. Yet Nusetic does not incorporate CBT, which can be used as well as it focuses on cognitive disorder, such as thoughts, beliefs, attitudes, and by improving emotional regulations and coping strategies that solve a problem. A good balance of both of these have been proven to be results in good counseling strategy. Whereas CBT um, is good and it's been proven, yet it does not use Christian scripture and Holy Spirit as its guide. It is weak that it cannot change the heart. Only the power and the generation of the Holy Spirit through the relationship with Christ can do this. Therefore, CBT by itself is very weak form of counseling, in my opinion. And looking at it, and been in counseling before myself, I can honestly say that Christian counseling is far better than any other kind of counseling um, that can be used because if you're using the guidance and the power of the Holy Spirit according to the words of the scriptures, whereas the cognitive brain therapy that's used in most um, practices, it doesn't use it. It just bypasses it so you've only got a problem you don't have a change in the heart